Hey everyone, this is Potato Couch. I'm Michael. I'm Tio. Welcome back to Skyrim. On my way here today, there was a bit of a Mexican standoff at a four-way intersection. Who shot first? Was I going to turn left? I did. That's the ending of the story, but I haven't gotten there yet. Was the guy to my right going to turn left? I don't know. He might have. Was the guy to my left going to turn left? I don't know. He didn't have his blinker on, so it was impossible to tell because he lives in Florida, and that's just how they drive here. So... What about the fourth guy? There was no fourth guy. It was uh, a Mexican standoff between three of us at a four-way intersection. That's confusing. And for, a, and for a minute, I thought, There's oh, man. There's one to your right, too. And for a minute, I thought, oh, man, what's going to happen? Uh, but then the guy to my left just motioned me to, to turn. So I thought, hey, I'll ignore right away. Cool. Because I was the last person at that intersection, but for some reason they let me go first. Maybe he was scared of you. He was like, I am a big. I, I must appease the T.O. I am a big and intimidating uh, um, Italian man. I am a big and intimidating Whoa, uh, man. man. Oh. You caught it and you murdered it and you ripped it in half and now it's in your inventory. I, I'm glad that you're just. I'm bathing in the friggin' water. I'm taking I'm, a shower. I'm glad that that when you when you catch butterflies, your immediate reaction w is to rip them in half and stick them in your pocket. Lydia, you get the nudie booty. Come join me. Oh, that's hot. With an axe on my back. Lydia, taking a shower. Come you, join me. On the fuck? Lydia's like, I'm gonna swim slowly backward. Wait, no, not the iron hand. No, the dwarf embraces of sure grip. grip. By sure. Boots of stamina. 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 stamina, stamina. I can't get out. Oh my god. Oh, look. It's a full metal alchemist. Look, he's dead. Okay, well then, this one's the sewing life alchemist. Uh -huh. I'm gonna eat him. It's funny, because the alchemist is dead. Yeah, too. he got his brain exploded. You know who else is dead in full metal alchemist? Nina. Oh, I was gonna and say many people, but yeah, <laughs> Trisha Elric, um, oh. Lust, and the other homunculi, um, oh. uh, the original series version of Oh my God, Oh my God, Oh my God, Oh my he God, He followed oh you. Oh my God, Oh my God. What? Bye. Uh, sir, woman, I don't, I can't tell. Uh. I think you should follow him. I don't think I should. Okay, bye. He looks like he's got somewhere important to be. I <laughs> got <a> poop! <laughs> I don't want to bother. <laughs> I gotta take a shit! There are no bad. Get out of my way! There are no toilets out here! <laughs> How am I supposed to shit in the middle of the woods? <laughs> With no one else around to see me. Like, except for you. <laughs> don't look at me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Lucas. I'm us. Um, ow. Oh, lady. KS. <laughs> fucking noob. And your fucking staff. She took her staff out. I'm gonna eat. She's using her staff. <laughs> yeah. She, she's dual wielding right now. Like a bitch. Like a, like a Kirito. Whoa. Oh, and then she went and killed the other guy for me. Why do you keep eating them? Why not? I mean, it's, it's just meat that's going to waste otherwise. There. You got the karam dum dum. What? You got the karam dum dum. Yeah, I got the karam dum 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 dum. Diggity dum 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 diggity dum 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 diggity dum 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 I can't get out of this voice. I know I keep talking like this too. Like that. That's what happens when we're tired in the morning and we're doing stupid voices. I need more coffee. I need more dicks. I need dick. That's what that's what my roommate's cat says. I need dick. Yeah. She's not fixed. Yeah. So she just says dick so a lot. So she's horny. On top of the fact that Doodle's high all the time, so Doodle probably wants a lot of dick. No, Doodle's just... She is a dick. Doodle! Psst. Her ears perked up. She's like, I'm not looking up, but I heard you. She's sleeping. Psst. Cat! Oh, uh, he gave me beer. Hey, bitch. 
And bitch. I'm taking this book. Bitch. The bitch isn't looking. I wonder if I'll find Ready Player One somewhere in this game as a book. And yeah. it'll and and it'll it'll be, you know, just as overrated in in this world as it is in the real one. What is that? Ready what? Player One. You never heard of that book? No. It's an overrated piece of eighties nostalgia garbage. Oh. That's cool. It seems to be all that particular author writes too. He doesn't even actually like write emotion into a story. He just says, "I felt like this guy in Predator when that thing happened." To describe emotion, making the assumption everyone's seen Predator, making him a crappy writer because he can't actually. Wait, he just makes references to everything. Yeah, and that's how he conveys emotion. I felt like Teal when he played Skyrim that one time, He's, episode yeah. nineteen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't it's actually like, remember. I'm what sorry, I but if you episode. cannot convey these emotions to me in a relatable way, then you're a bad writer. What? Who is it? I can't remember his name. That's how stupid he is. Look up the author of Ready Player One. Michael's looking up the author of Ready Player One. It's nice having multiple computers. Yeah. Hey, I don't think our capture has been picking up uh, game audio this whole time, because it looks pretty still. Oh, no, there was something there. Never mind. It's just, it's very just really quiet. quiet. It's all As always, so no one's going to be able to hear it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Lovely. that's Skyrim for you. And I even turned it up. Oh my god! Hey, look, a spoder! Not today. <laughs> Not today. I got to Frostbite Venom. There was a movie. Yeah, I know. How have you not heard of this? Ernest Klein? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, how have you not heard of Ready Player One? It's like everywhere. Right <laughs> More now. like Ready Player Dumb. Oh. 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 <laughs> Imagine a Reddit comment stretched to 300 pages and you'll have a good idea of how Ready Player One plays out as a book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest Klein's Ready Player One is lazy and shitty pandering. Yeah. Thank you, Internet. You're very nice to people. Hey, you know, like, criticism's criticism. Whether it's positive or negative, it shouldn't be ignored outright. Ready? I'm going to eat this orc. I ate my, my brother orc. I'm, not I'm sorry that I didn't bother with the handshake this time, brother. At the bottom, searches related to Ready Player One is dumb. That's what I typed. Oh. Ready Player One cringe. Ready Player One neckbeard. <laughs> Ready Player One sexist. Oh, jeez. I didn't even know about that one. Ready Player One poorly written. Mm. Ready Player One racist. <laughs> that sounds like a fun book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, um... Uh, I looked up Red, Ready Player One is dumb, and I got a picture of the Iron Giant. Yeah, the Iron Giant's gonna be in the movie. What? And so is Harley Quinn from the Batman Arkham games and Tracer from Overwatch. Oh, is that why there's this picture of Harley Quinn and, Tr and Chun Li? Oh, that's not Harley Quinn. That's Chun Li. Yeah. And Tracer. Now I kind of want to watch the movie. <laughs> I think there's also like an orc with robot arms in there somewhere. This, this just sounds like references out the butt. Uh, yeah, that's basically all it is. This just sounds like our channel. Because <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh nice. You Take. pick it up and you swing Take. it and you make them hurt. Take. Is it better? Let be. me see. Oh, it's great, so it's 43. Oh, uh, yeah, it's two damage better. It does. See, look, see. 43, and then. Wait a minute. What? I don't know, it's the same. So yeah, I'm it looks gonna... cooler. Also, you're orc, so. Yeah. It chops some people's heads Swing! Off. 
Pass the pass. Please, please, like, please, please, please be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't play with knives. Honey buns. Honey, honey bunches of oats, please. I want to lodge a pickaxe in someone's skull. I'm going to mine this over Kukumalaka. I was just going through pictures and I, I, I found this. Stop posting these fucking people. Fuck him and fuck Gus and fuck you. What? I don't know what this is a reference to. Who's Gus? Who's Gus? YouTube haiku. Ready player one. Um. <laughs> okay. I just depleted an Oromakakalamos, uh. Or vein. Uh. Oromakakalamos. Okay. Oromakakalamos. This is the person neck in the Bitch lit blog. What the hell's that? I don't know. What are you looking at? Porn, I think. Po no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That wasn't porn. It was a porn. <laughs> no. No. No, we play enough of it on our channel. No, that's we haven't even gotten to that part of Honey Pop yet. Not yet. Shit. Balls, ass, tits, and balls, and dicks, and ass, and cock, and balls, and taints. Many taints. <laughs> Hairy asshole. So many taints. What would happen if I type taint into Google Image Search? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried. Do it. Turn safe search off. It's always off. Oh, well then do it. It isn't. Wow. That's... I... You know, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> there there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately uncomfortable. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Oh, I'm carrying too much. But guess what I got? What? Where are they? Oh, boots. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, the armor's have... better, but you got the these bones. ones give me more stamina. Mm, decisions, decisions. Does that? Does these? Hey, bitch is awake. Come do away, these bitch. impact my carry weight? Does the stamina, or does it just increase my uh, stamina? Uh, uh, equip it. Okay, let's see. No. No, it didn't. Okay, well then. Hey, Lydia, you want some boots? She's like, I guess. Somebody's attacking. Yeah, well, not right now, they aren't. I gotta give Lydia some boots. Alrighty, Lydia. Take these boots and these gauntlets. They might come in. And might come in hands. I just realized I looked up taint on my girlfriend's computer without an incognito window, so it's just inner search history now. Oh. <laughs> so she's gonna be searching, so I'm try to type in like some starts with a T, and she's gonna be like taint. Oh! Well then, go and erase it from the history. Nah, I want her to find it. Why? Why not? <laughs> Like, why does it say tank on my computer? Okay. Uh, Michael, it's time for you to rejoin me here in the episode, I think. I am in the episode. With no, you. I mean, like, come back where the microphone gets you better. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't approve. Why? Oh my gosh! I just you have to be level. You have to be level fourteen to do the sanguines. Okay, I opened a book and all of a sudden I was a better blacksmith than I used to be. <laughs> That's incredible. You open the book and they're like, you have to hit it with a hammer, and you're like, wow, I didn't Whoa, know that one. Dang! No, I, I didn't even read the book. I just opened it and closed it, and all of a sudden I was better at what I did. Why do I have to be ridiculous levels to do, to do this? Right. Why? You just make all them iron daggers. So many iron daggers. I might just do that, actually. Now that I think just, about just it. Just make iron daggers until you smith the bones of the dragon. Because that's how that works. Mm -hmm. It's like, I've made iron daggers, daggers so much, I feel like I could literally make stuff out of dragon bones. So you go and you rip a dragon's guts out and you take its bones. Blacksmith! Completely effortlessly. <laughs> Where's the blacksmith? Okay. See, I know that's a Markiplier reference, but I don't know what he's talking about. The blacksmith, obviously. From what, though? I don't know. Does he just say that? I don't 
know. There was, there was a particular video. Or Kakamalos. Or Kakamalos. Or Kakamalos. the ultimate weapon from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Why do we keep... We're getting worse with this voice. Who's <laughs> the Who's the She's like, they're so annoying, it makes me want to kick myself in the face. He's talking about doodle scratching herself. Yeah, I am. And now she's going back to sleep. Sleep a cat a cat. Note to self, don't touch the edges of the table. <laughs> I was cool with the immortal witch premise. I was cool with the glowy eye powers. I was cool with Nina humping a table. Hang on a minute. Well, that was just fucking stupid. <laughs> A bit. There's only soup. <laughs> what do you mean there's only soup? I mean there's only soup. Like get out of the soup aisle. Okay, you don't need to shout at me. There's just more soup. What do you mean there's just more soup? I mean there's just more soup. Go to the next aisle. There's more soup. Where are you? I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at soup. What store are you in? I'm at, I'm at the, the soup store. store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? <laughs> Uh, I just saw that for the first time like last week, so that's why I'm super into that thing now. I just saw it two years ago. I mean, I think I might have seen it two years ago. It seemed really familiar when I saw it, but like I actually watched Code Men all the way through for the first time like last week. I saw it on Facebook. we been doing? We need to go talk to Bitch Face McCready real quick. I haven't been paying attention. I uh, clearly. I never pay attention. Yeah. I you know, know that's just okay. Staring cause... at my own penis. <laughs> Much like how Yuri stares at her own boobs. Like kind of like how Yuri stares at her boobs. Yeah. Kind of like when when Yuri's like she's looking down and like when she looks down, all she sees is boobs. Because she has titties. Like when Natsuki looks down, she sees the floor, but when Yuri looks down, she sees boobs. Hey, excuse me. Hey, Sid. I killed the leader of the barf gulch mine. Chris. Make, make me I mean, it won't give, teach give, them anything, because they're dead. Give me property. He's like, teach them to stop paying Just me. Just paid me $750. Thank you. Thank you. We need 5000 Do we have 5000 you have 5,000? Sometimes. On a good day. I don't have many check. good days. We have 8,900. We can buy a house! <laughs> Yay! Property is cheap and scare em. I mean, if you can call 5,000 pieces of gold cheap. I mean, it's basically $5,000, so yes, I say that's cheap for property. Is it cheap, though, in medieval times? It, your butt's cheap in medieval times. Is it give me a house, bitch. I would like this. Here's money. Give it to me. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. I will take your empty land, I, you and I will raise it. you one house. I might regret it if that thing that keeps happening to me when I play this game keeps happening. That is, that a giant shows up at my door. More than once, a giant has spawned outside my house. Wow. Yeah, and in more than one location, too. Also, wow. Let's go to the house. Now, now, thankfully, in one of those instances, I was playing my main profile, which was my Kaji werewolf. Did you rip his asshole open? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I basically tore that giant in half vertically. And horizontally, and diagonally. <laughs> it is just like, little pieces of meat all over the yeah, floor. Yeah, kind of like the, uh, the Sentry from Marvel Comics. He really likes ripping people in half vertically. Um, he did it to Ares during the siege. And there was another guy he did it to. Anyway. Um, but yeah, like... And then on other profiles where I was a vampire orc, 
I still feel like that's going to end up happening to Tiffany at some point. Because um, all my orcs turned into vampires. In fact, I think that was the reason we named her Tiffany to begin with. It had something to do with our uh, old D&D playthrough that we were doing. Our old yeah. D&D campaign. Um... Because in our old, in the old version of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign, me and Michael created a vampire character named Tiffany. 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 And I was like, "Oh, all my orcs turn into vampires. I see them." Um, you see the rocks? Yep. Cool. And so, what are you, what are you doing? There's Barbus. No, that's a deer. That's a deer, and the spider is chasing the deer. And the spider's like, "Get back here! Get back here! I'm gonna eat you!" Hey, you! You'll make a fine replacement. I have made a mistake. Uh, that was a mistake. We are out of time. You're out of time. Yes, I am. I want to see my uh, property first. But we are out of time, though. I want to see my property. Why do you want to see emptiness? Just because. Just because, man. Humor me. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Why, Michael? Because there were bitches over there. Chickens love bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta discover the location. I found it. And then we'll be done with it. It's been discovered. No, it hasn't. It found it's not it. discovered till I say it's discovered. It's discovered. It's not. I've discovered it. It's not discovered I anymore. Discovered, I discovered this land. I don't care if there are already people here. Okay, Columbus. I discovered that. Give them blankets. They'll keep them warm. Give them blankets with pox. Blankets. Yeah, these, no, these blankets are for their benefit. It'll keep them warm. <laughs> Why have we ended both episodes today with some form of casual racism? 